Hi there, I'm Tyler Ballhorn, and this is the Stock Scores Market Minutes for February 14th, 2014. This week we're going to talk about bottom fishing, the process of a downtrend turning into an upward trend. It typically takes some time. Rarely do you see V-shaped bottoms. There are instead sort of three steps to the reversal of a downward trend. Step one is a break of the downward trend line. Step two, the formation of a rising bottom consolidation. And then step three, a break from that rising bottom consolidation through resistance after that period of sideways trading. Now this makes a lot more sense when we look at it on a chart. Here you can see a downward trend and I've used a long-term weekly chart for this stock. You can see it was in a long-term downward trend that lasted a couple of years. But step one, right where my mouse is now in August, the downward trend line was broken. We then started to build a rising bottom. That's where I've drawn the green line there to show the rising bottom. The red line of resistance was broken at the blue arrow. That was our signal that there was a break from optimism, a break from a rising bottom after the downward trend line had been broken. This is what I refer to as my bottom fishing chart pattern setup. And you can see that since that happened, the stock has gone from $3 to a little over $4 and is in the early stages of an upward trend after breaking that long-term downward trend. If you look at stocks that have reversed long-term downward trends, you'll see this pattern come up over and over again. It's a reliable way to find these sorts of things. And because there's a lot of turnarounds happening right now in the mining sector, gold mining, silver mining, even some of the other mining companies, they are showing this pattern quite common right now because the uh, market is turning trend. All right, let's get into the analysis for this week. Here is a weekly chart of the S&P 500, and you can see that on the weekly basis, the upward trend line held last week. Now, of course, last Monday, when I did last week's market minutes, we were well below the upward trend line, and it looked like we were in the early stages, or I shouldn't say the early stages, but in well into a, a correction. Well, what happened was by the end of the week, the market rallied back and closed above that green upward trend line. And so we must therefore remain in a bullish trend. And this week we have rallied back almost to new highs. We're very close there. So it doesn't look like we're even going to form a falling top. Now, it may be that the market's going to trend a little bit sideways for a while to take a little bit of a break after a pretty strong run. But based on what we're seeing in the trading activity of the last 10 days, is that this bull trend is still intact. The Canadian market also bounced off of its upward trend line is now moving up toward long-term resistance at the red horizontal line. I expect that's where the Canadian market will stall, but uh, you know, still some upside there, so I would remain bullish on Canadian stocks. Treasuries, long-term downward trend, they're a little oversold and I think are gonna work their way up to the downward trend line, so I've drawn the Uh, downward trend line sloping left to right there. That's likely what's happened is we've seen the market run down and away from the trend line. We're now going to see it come back before it finds some resistance and probably rolls over. Emerging markets in a long-term sideways trend, pretty strong selling pressure in the uh, most of January and and really December and, and November as well. And we've bounced off of support, rallying back to the downward trend line that I've drawn in red here. Um, My expectation is you see another week or two of strength in emerging markets and then they're going to get stuck again at the pessimism that has been building for the last four months or so. U.S. dollar made an important breakdown last week. You can see I've drawn a pennant pattern on this chart. The trend into the pennant was down, then the pennant formed, and therefore we expect the trend out of the pennant to also be down. And we got the confirmation of that on uh, last week's trading. And this indicates to me that the U.S. dollar is likely to move lower, long-term support at the horizontal green line. Gold has uh, continued to look better and better. It broke its downward trend line a few weeks ago, real strong week last week. And those of you that read my newsletter will know that I've been sort of putting more emphasis on the gold miners because those stocks are really starting to turn around. So, you know, I don't see considerable upside. We're going to keep running into resistance. There's resistance here at 130, resistance at 135. But it is much like uh, we talked about at the top of the video, the bottom fishing setup, where we are breaking from a rising bottom after breaking the downward trend line. So it looks to me like uh, gold more likely to move higher than lower in the months ahead. Oil is in a long-term consolidation. 
This again is a weekly chart going back a few years. You can see rising bottoms, which form support. We've bounced off of that in January, falling tops, which acts as resistance. So we've probably got more um, upside to go, but at the same time, we're in the middle of this range, so we've got as much downside risk as upside potential. I don't consider the oil market to be a great place to be, but I do like some of the oil stocks because I think what's happening is money is rotating out of some of the high-flying, perhaps overbought sectors and looking for some better valuations, and that is coming up in the energy sector. Well, fear had a big jump up, and just as quickly, it has fallen right back again. How many times have we seen this over the last couple of years? Big jump up, big fall back. It looks to me like that's happening yet again. But of course, anytime there is market turmoil, you always want to look to the VIX because it is a great trading vehicle in times of turmoil. So I've got a bullish rating on equities, both U.S. and Canadian, and gold, both in the short and long term. Now, in the short term, we're a little bit overbought, probably. We've had a pretty strong bounce back. I expect that we're going to run into some resistance on all of these things in the next week or two. But the long-term picture remains good. The weekly charts have held the upward trend line and the markets remain in bullish trends. Expect a stall at the high for the U.S. markets, which could evolve into a period of sideways trading. Gold continues to improve and the U.S. dollar looks likely to move lower. Well, that has been the Stock Scores Market Minutes for February 14th, 2014. Have a great week in the market and trade well.